finally, another thing that's very important when we look at uh, basically this dilemma um, through, a, through a framework of care ethics is we have the biggest difference in an ethics competition and a traditional debate is in the ethics competition, the two opposing teams can actually agree on the conclusion. Uh, and so they're not, you're not forced to take one side or another. And, um, and so if, since you can agree on, this, on the conclusion, it's all a matter of how you reach that conclusion. Utilitarianism is talking about what's going to achieve the greatest amount of happiness for the greatest amount of people. Um, and I think that everyone who's talked about utilitarianism has touched on that point. I just want to make it very, very clear. Well, what happens is you're arguing real life cases things that actually happened and discussing the ethical dimensions of those and so it really applies to each individual person person in a different way and when it applies I think you bond when you speak your mind we start with talking about what do you think about this case and then we go into developing your arguments and so you really sort of naturally form relationships with everybody here because people are talking about what they think and that's a rarity people rarely say what they really think or believe we calculate that when we do our utilitarian calculus uh, so let's look at the two primary, uh, primary interested parties, which will be the pilots versus the passengers. They're very cordial. Um, it's actually looked down upon if you try to attack another team. And so I think it's kind of refreshing for, for debate students to, to see this experience that, wow, we can have um, some very meaningful dialogue and discourse, and it doesn't have to be so combative. And so that's, that's kind of refreshing, and I think it's a great model for, for, for our students when they get out to society that you can have disagreements or maybe even agreements with different viewpoints, but um, address those in a more congenial manner.